Hello and welcome to Statistic TV, it's your boy DJ Tisa and we are back for another edition of Cell Reviews. Before we begin on this uh, episode of Cell Reviews, I would like to formally apologize for not, uh, for not uploading a video last week. We normally upload every Wednesday at 6pm UK time, but last week I couldn't upload due to personal problems. Uh, however, this is going to change and we are back uploading regularly so every wednesday from 6 pm you can expect a new review to be up on the channel now this review is going to be very very different from from the other reviews that we've done in terms instead of it being one album review we're going to be re reviewing a compilation of albums and we're going to do it in a format of the top five albums this year that i've heard as well as as well as the flops of the year the overrated album of the year and the underrated album of the year let's begin with the flops of the year there has been one one album that has been that has not done well this year has got to be it's a rocky with testing yeah it yes it had promise yes i can see it um i can see what asa was trying to go for but it flopped in that sense but as, at the same time it's, it, it was quite unfortunate that it was released during the time of, of asa uh, not asa sorry of Pusha t and drake going at it in their beef so this overshadowed a lot uh, another album that that flopped i really believe flopped was rolling papers 2 by wiz khalifa this did not perform well at all in fact it was in fact it was 25 tracks a lot of tracks in there and it wasn't it wasn't a whiskey for that i listened to in the past it was very different compared to his previous albums that I'd like for example the completion album that i done with snoop dogg um sorry the collaboration album that i done with snoop dogg and uh rolling papers the first rolling papers this one was worse than that and it didn't it didn't it didn't really said to me so i believe that that flopped also um nothing though has flopped harder than machine gun kelly with binge now it was an ep um it, it wasn't a, it, it wasn't a P, uh, an ep but it wasn't released as an ep it was actually supposed to be an album but and then he turned around to say it was actually an ep which but <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that it was actually a really awful project i mean gosh how do you go against i mean he went against eminem and done very well he actually held his own but for you to go from that and then release a project in the midst of that as bad as this it's like he didn't plan it like like you know i mean we've seen beefs that were calculated i'm talking about Pusha T and drake very calculated and this one was uncalculated like it seemed like he done this this album in just a week and that was what really dis disappointed me because from, from what he displayed from what he has set himself up for you would think he's bringing fire but he's not if you're looking for something to binge on this is not it go to netflix do netflix and chill watch a uh, hereditary on netflix or watch or binge on um flipping 13 reasons why <laughs> you may not want to do that the point remains um this album was a complete flop now the most overrated album of the year um there's been a couple that were that were quite overrated i felt that scorpion was a bit overrated um i don't think drake was vintage drake on this one like uh, yes i can uh, i can see a lot was changed after the whole beef he has to go again before he dropped the album i can i, I can see changed a lot however um the hype that is received and the reception is received i don't think it's worth it especially when it wasn't up to quality you could only i would say i could, I could only pick probably three tracks from that three or four tracks from from a 25 track two side album the r&b side was a lot more favorable to the, the hip-hop side i would have to say however this to me it is still it, it was very very overrated for the um for the work that was put in but nothing is more overrated than kamikaze though i mean yes we we had the old slim shady yes uh the raps were exquisite there's no doubt in, in um with eminem when it comes to when it comes to the bars however 
the album lacks substance we have to be realistic here like he just made an album just to go at everybody that ever criticized him and the only thing that was tangible in there was him explaining what happened with d12 that's the only tangible part of this album eminem did this album purely to go at people and i felt it was a way it, it, it was a waste of an album yes it's just, it's actually better than revival yes i agree it's better than what he had done before however like i said it's really overrated uh just because he was built on beef now for the most underrated album it has to be freddy freddy gibbs uh and, in, and the album is called freddy <laughs> um freddy gibbs like this is an artist that everyone knows about he is very rated um roy's the fighting man bigs him up uh he's done tracks with static selector uh if my if my memory serves me correctly yes he he's done a lot of work with the greats however 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 for some reason this album has gone really under the radar i don't know whether it was because of it of the personal problems that he was going through in his life in terms of being um in terms of being ar- arrested in um in france uh for something that's like you know a lot of things overshadowed what is done and he hasn't really received coverage from the hip-hop community uh, and, a, and a great project really has gone down the drain here i really think that the album should have received more ratings um when i say underrated i mean he is rated he is uh he is he, he is valued however for some reason it was really on un- underwhelming this project not saying that it was a bad project it really wasn't it was actually a very solid project um but he hasn't received the recognition that he should receive um now to go on to the top five albums of the year number five has to be lupe fiasco with dragos wave lupe fiasco has has been through a lot with atlantic records he has um he has finally been free of the deal with with atlantic and he released uh this album dragos wave which uh, um which starts off in spanish yes uh, um i reviewed it on on the channel so without sounding redundant i'm just gonna say just go watch it there um but however like i said it, it, this wouldn't be my album of the year simply because of the fact that um simply because of the fact that it was it lacked structure like a like, like, like i said in, in the review it's still quality work i mean instrumentally quality it, it trumps most albums i've heard all year but it lacked the structure that i would give to make it to give it even more um this number four now is j-rock j-rock with redemption he done brilliant on this album um it was very easy to return and listen to over and over and over and over again and for him to bring every problems that, that that he had to still talk about it in in the album like you know he had a motorbike motorcycle accident and he went into a couple of tracks he, he dedicated a couple of tracks to this and it was a typical hood album that i loved um that i would love like yeah it, it had the r&b side with tap out which was <laughs> still it's still a club banger to today then he had win which which went into the nba 2k 2k18 i believe um there was nothing i can't fault the album j-rock produced a solid hip-hop album here number three was really tight it was really tight but it had, it has to go to the book of ryan J- roy's the five nine was very vulnerable and i've I, and i haven't me listening to the bar exam before this me listening to prime me listening to me listening to the, his previous works and, and, his, and his collaborative work i did not see this coming he was very vulnerable in terms of his drinking addictions and what he has been through what it, what his family has been through as well what his brothers has been, has been through and the entitlement that he felt like that that he had there i reviewed down this album on, on this channel also so i don't again i don't want to sound redundant but overall the album was a work of art i haven't heard such a tangible hip-hop album all year 
and I've heard a lot of albums, this stood out a lot. For number two, and this was why I, I didn't know how to select because both of them had similar themes. Both of them when um both of them had a similar story. But it has to be Fonte with no news is good news. Fonte has lost his dad. Fonte not only lost his dad, but was also, I believe it was he had a lot of addictions and a lot of health problems that he was working through himself if i'm wrong correct me on that and i also reviewed reviewed this album on this channel so again yeah i didn't want to sound redundant you know like but this was this was the one album over the book of ryan i was able to go back and listen to again and again and again maybe it was because of the number of tracks i mean the book of ryan had 19 to 20 tracks while uh fonte had 11 to 12 tracks so but i felt it was the execution of each like you can't skip it i haven't skipped a track well but with the book ryan i actually did skip a couple of tracks but with with no news is good is, is, is good news i could not skip a track i could not i could not at all i could not at all like afford to take my headphones off and miss the content in this was brilliant um and that's why i get this was number two for number one, it has to be none other than Pusha T, Daytona. Daytona is my album of the year. You can argue with me, you can shoot me if you want. Yes, I understand it was seven tracks and yes, it was too short. But for... <laughs> I could not stop listening to this album. Again, I, I, I reviewed it on the channel so I'm not going to sound redundant again. But this is... This is the one album which i haven't i can't skip any track i can go back and listen to it anytime like i said in the, in the, in the review and i have heard this it's been on repeat all year it's been on repeat all year when it, when it was released for him again for pusha t to be able to capture a lot to bring a lot into the into the album in, in and just do it in just seven tracks it's a talent because the the storytelling in there was a lot now of course these are two different contrasts when you compare it to my number two and my number one they're not the same story however it's just for me the delivery was better the delivery was better the artic the articulation was better both of them though both of them are brilliant they're both brilliant at what they do so those are my top five you know daytona no news is good news the book of ryan redemption and druggers wave those are my top five there were a lot of other 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 tracks that i considered like the color v i considered that um i i wasn't that much of a big fan of the release um i considered nick Mill championship but it was just released too too quickly for me to judge um i think i might have to do a separate video for the albums that were that were that were released on the latter end of the, of 2018, No Name was considered as well with with, with our album Room to Room 25. Black Thoughts was definitely considered with Streams of Thought Volume One and Two. I, I didn't want to really pick that as album of the year because he is actually saying it's actually an EP. It's not in the in 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 the case of Machine Gun Kelly where he has said it's an album and then he changed it to an EP. That's that's completely different um this one was actually an ep so but i really wanted to put this up there because simply because of the fact that it is gold it's actually gold i really implore people to go listen to that album overall this year has been a very good year for hip-hop um oh damn nipsey hustle victory lap that's the one album i wanted to put in here as well i wanted to put it in here um but i don't know which one to take out I really don't know which one to take out. I don't think I think J Rock's album trumps it, trumps Victory Lap a little bit. This year has been a very good year for hip hop, and yeah, like I'm really looking forward to what hip hop has in store for 2018. Thank you for checking out the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for for some more content. Don't forget to press that bell button too to stay up to date with our content. Also, if you like this video, make sure you like. And, subs and 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 also share onto your social media accounts etc once again thank you so much for tuning in have a good day peace